everybody, welcome back to another showcase. Today I am on World of Krells, have not been here in a very long time, and I am about to show you guys probably one of the coolest trad builds I've ever seen in a while, ever since, you know, BCS went down. But right now I am in this town, I believe this is Clydesdale in Arcania, so if you guys want to check this entire place out, do slash warp Clydesdale, I'll leave all that in the description down below. But right across the corner, you can see a little bit of it, is a really cool build and I'm just gonna walk right across it and there it is right there standing proud and tall over there this is a massive traditional library a public library really cool build now this build was built by Ofri very talented builder uh, a shapeskeeper himself actually I, I talked to him a few times he actually showed me this build and you know this place is just you know pretty much really gorgeous inside and out so I'm going to show you the outside right now, and we're just going to jump into some of the details. But as you can see, there is a lot to, you know, take in right here. One thing that I really notice in this build, and I really like it, number one, the color palette. I just like how all these colors, you know, really fit in. I'm using the Walk Flows Texture Pack 1.12, so if you want to go pick that up, I'll also leave a download of that. But the depth as well, as you can see, there are, you know, these double-layered windows, which has become a very popular thing, and honestly, I think it really works. You got these double layered exteriors here, especially with this arch over here. This is a Romanesque build, so you're going to see a lot of arches and stuff like that. And you got your huge dome on the top, but this build is just, you know, drop dead gorgeous, especially on the sides as well. You got this huge, huge gable here with, you know, it's got a lot of symmetry. You know, I like symmetry, but I think this really works really well for this build. But just take a look at some of the subtle details, like this right over here. That's pretty cool. You got some doors. I think you need world edit for that. But other than that, that's pretty much the exterior. It's pretty, pretty solid throughout the whole entire thing. They also got this pretty cool tower as well. With these, pretty. These are some, yeah, quite neat tower windows right there. That, I'm, you know, I'm, I've never seen this design before. Pretty cool. So we're gonna go on the inside now. Now, just for the sake of saving time, we're just gonna take a look at some of the rooms. But there's only one room that I really want to get to. But we're just gonna walk around some of it. So here you got the interior, pretty pretty vibrant in here actually, you got some pretty cool colors. Now I am using a pretty light shaders, I'm using ebon shaders. Another thing that really enhances the experience in looking at these things, just take a look at that ceiling right there. Now here is the gift shop. Always gotta have a gift shop in one of these old kind of places. This does remind me of a museum, but this is actually a library. There is a sign somewhere, I'll look for it. I think I just came across it. Whoops, hit a bit of lag. Yeah, right here. Clydesdale Public Library by Ofri. So here are the rooms. I'm just going to speed through them. This place is massive. You got the cafeteria. So yeah, they got a lot of stuff in here, not just, you know, a book area. Great South Hall. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty grand, too. Just take a look at that. I'm just going to fly up a little bit, but. You know, this is you know this is interior right here, and interior just takes a lot of time to build. As of course, Ofri just went with a lot of the detail here, everything from this roof to the chandelier. That's a pretty cool chandelier, actually. I just think that everything in terms of the detail and interior, especially the realism, you know, it's just all there. So we got everything here. We got the the Richardson Public Library. That's pretty cool. Is this a bedroom or just a living room? Now that actually reminds me, the real name of the architecture, I believe, this is called Richardson Romanesque. Look that up if you want to. This is the gray room. Pretty cool. Pretty neat, too. I like the colors as well. You know, this texture pack really does work with the realism. Now, I think it's time to go to the main room. I want to start on the bottom because the room that we're about to look in is just probably one of the coolest interiors I've ever seen in, in a very long while. So we're just going to hop down here and just take a look at, hold on, what does this say? Oh yeah, the Great Reading Hall. Just take a look at that. That is amazing. This is play, and you know, one thing I forgot to mention is that, you know, the exterior of this entire build is actually, I believe, based off of a real life building. But all this interior, everything from the detail, you know, the bus over here and like, you know, all the depth and everything like that. This is all original. This was by Ofri himself. And I gotta say, really good job on this. This is probably one of the coolest trad interiors I've ever seen before. But just took a look, just take a look at all these archways. That's that's something that I really like. 
really really amplifies the realism that's what I think but as you can see you got these three story high you know bookshelves this is this is truly a great reading hall and then you also got this dome bringing in some of the light and the chandeliers let's take a look at those chandeliers these are some pretty solid chandeliers but you might not be able to pick it up with the you know this texture pack and the shaders but these arches are pretty well decorated and well lit as well a little bit that's pretty cool actually too the, you know there's not really a pillar standing there so yeah this place has you know a lot of arches a lot of depth and of course a lot of realism but i think this is a pretty solid build i cannot really point out any flaws because i'm also looking at that as well now Ofri did mention something he did mention a way to get to the tower that is right over there that's probably going to be the last thing we'll look at, but there are a lot more rooms to go check out here, so I do advise anybody watching this video, come on World of Corrals, check this place out. Maybe get inspired yourself to build a library, because this place is just amazing. Just take a look at all these rooms, got a bunch of different colors and stuff. This this kind of reminds me of Drakenburg, you know, the castle that I built a long time ago. You know, they're both the same architectural kind of building and structures, but this place just has everything. So we're going to go upstairs here. And I believe we're getting close. We're going to find that place to get to the tower. I think, yeah, we should be around the place. Just going to find it. I'm just going to speed through. But as you can see, there's, here we go, tower admission, $5. Well, I don't have $5. I might drop a gold ingot later, but we're going up there. So, yeah, no, I think this uh, this entire library does have sort of, uh, some museum aspect to it. So, yeah, you got an attic in here. See, that's pretty cool too, you know, you didn't really want to decorate this place, so you just put some stuff here. At least you had the, you know, motivation to do that. I'd probably just block off a door with some wool here. But, I'm going to move on upstairs. There's an elevator. It's pretty cool, pretty neat. This is a very long staircase. But as you can see, outside we saw those cool windows. Let's take a look at that. That's the magic of, you know, double walling things. You got these sort of other layer of bars. And as you can see, we are on the tower here. Is that a bell? Or, oh, I think it's just a, you know, the pull of the elevator up. I'm not sure what the, I, I believe this is an elevator, yeah. So up here, you can see, well, down below. You also see the great town of Clydesdale. Really nice town. As you can see, a lot of development going on. But this is the tower. So that is basically the entire library here, built by Ofri, Richardson Romanesque. If you guys really did enjoy the showcase, then be sure to check out my other showcases, especially on Walk. Got a ton of those, got a lot, ton of those coming up as well. But other than that, that basically concludes our showcase here. So I hope to see you guys later. Be sure to subscribe, support the channel, and I'll see you later.